How would you like to make your Boya BYM1 microphone go from sounding like this to sounding more clear and professional? Using only free software that will only take a few minutes to set up, then you've come to the right video. I'm Poyik and in this video, I will show you step by step on how to set up your Boya BYM1 microphone with a free audio adapter to make your voice sound clear, studio-like and professional. Sounding professional whether you're creating video content, doing a live stream, Zoom presentation or Zoom call is extremely important. It will give a positive impression and establish credibility if you sound good. As a matter of fact, people will be willing to sit through a bad video with low resolution, but never bad audio. So if you watch to the end and follow along, you will discover how to get your Boya microphone sound like a studio quality mic in just a few steps. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more tips and strategies to grow your business in the new normal. Now, let's jump right into it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is to download the software that is needed to adapt your audio on the fly. So meaning to say whether you're doing uh, recording for video content or a Zoom presentation or Zoom call or even a live streaming, this software will actually adapt your audio on the fly to certain settings so that you sound more clear and professional and studio-like. Okay, so uh, the software that you'll be needing is called the Virtual Audio Cable and Voice Meter. All right, so both of these softwares are created by the same company, VB Audio Software, and they actually work together for the input and the output of your audio. So let's just go ahead and download them first. They have the Windows and Mac version available. I'm using Windows. So let's go ahead and download this one. Okay. So once I have downloaded the, the virtual audio cable over here, the next one to download is the voice meter. So when I scroll down, you should see the zip and the exe file available. I'll go ahead and download the zip file. So the user interface of the website may change from time to time as they roll out different uh, versions. But just bear in mind and understand that you'll be needing to download both the virtual audio cable and the voice meter. Okay, so let's go ahead to downloads where I have downloaded the files. And the first thing I want to do is to install each software step by step. And I'm going to start with the VB cable driver. Let's right click this, extract, so that it unzips the file. Okay, so once that's done, okay, you will see that there is actually two uh, setup files and which one should we use. So to know which one to use, you need to understand what bit version is your Windows running on. Is it on 32-bit or 64-bit? To find that out, just head over to the search over here and type in about and go over to about your PC. Okay, then over here, you will be able to see under the system type, you see mine is the 64-bit operating system. Okay, so once you've identified whether your computer is on 32 or 64-bit, let's go ahead and select the right file to install it with. Okay, so I want to go for the 64-bit version. Now to install it, it's very important that you take note, you need to right-click, run as administrator. Okay, and install the driver. Okay, so once it is um, installed, it will prompt you to reboot your system, but we'll do that when we have completed the other installation for the voice meter as well. So for now, let's just go ahead and click OK. Then a pop-up and a thank you page will roll out. Now let's just go back to our downloads folder. Okay, so we've done the VB cable driver. The next one we want to install is the voice meter. So same thing, right click, extract all. Okay, and you will see there's only one file over here. Same thing to install, right click, run as administrator. Okay, so you see the same thing, it will ask you to reboot and the thank you page will pop up. So right now, let's go ahead and reboot the system and come back with the, the setup. A few moments later, 
Okay, so now that we have the softwares installed, we want to basically set up your Boya mic with the software. Okay, so you just need to input this into your audio check in your computer. And very important, you need to make sure you have the camera mode switched on. Okay, very important to record into your PC for your Boya mic, camera mode needs to be switched on. Okay, so once you have um, put your jack into your computer, let's head over to the control panel. And then under hardware and sound, under sound, click on manage audio devices. Okay, so once we're at manage audio devices, you can click over to the recording tab. Okay. And you can see there are, I have a few mics, okay, so that's why the long list. But what you want to pay attention to is which mic is um, basically moving. So this one is my jack mic, okay, this is the Boya mic that I've just inserted into my audio jack. So when you right click, go on to properties, you can actually rename it if you want. Let's just rename it, okay. And then under levels, you want to make sure it is set to 100%. Okay, let's just click OK for now. Okay, now let's go, let's open up Voice Meter, the software that you have just installed. So when you first open it up, it's going to look something like this. It may not be the same as um, yours at the moment. Okay, but what you need to take note of is for the audio ability, you want to turn it up to 3.0. Okay. For under the hardware input. And then for the fader gain, you want to put it at negative 2.5. And then over here on the right, you want to turn on the stereo repeat on both sides. Okay. Then to select your hardware input, okay, you want to look for your Boya mic. Okay, so in this case, let's just click on WDM Boya mic. Okay, then for your output under A1, okay, your hardware out, A1, you want to select MME cable input. Okay, so, so pay attention. Okay, there is the WDM and there's MME. Make sure you select MME cable input over here. Okay. So once you have these settings, you would see, um, you should see all these meters moving, okay? And right now I know that I am using the Boya mic um, into the voice meter that's going to adapt the sound over here, okay? So what you want to play around with is basically this knob over here. This will actually change like how you want to sound, whether you want it to be more echoey, more bassy, um, you want to have a deeper voice. This is the setting that you want to play around with. So normally, I normally put mine around over here. Okay, all right. And one thing you want to pay very attention to and very important to note is that every time you go on your live stream or your Zoom or your video recording, you want to actually select your voice meter as your input. Okay, and voice meter needs to be turned on. So what I would like to do is to actually save these settings, okay, that I have, I have in place and actually run it on Windows setup. Okay, that, that is what I would do. Okay, so every time Windows turn up, you just run it on Windows. And then under recording over here, I, I put this as my default communication device. So meaning to say that anytime I do any recording, it, the system would actually use voice meter to do the recording. And over here, I would select which mic to use for my recording for voice meter to adapt the sound. Does that make sense? All right. So let's just go ahead and do a test so you know how this sounds like. So I use um, Audacity for some of my recordings. So over here you can see in Audacity, you can actually select which um, microphone you want to use. So if we are to select the original Boya BYM1, this would have no um, audio adaption to it. Okay, it doesn't give you like that bassy settings and that 
clear gain to it, okay? So I'll just show you one before and after. Let's select one without the voice adaption. This time, let's select the voice meter as the microphone selection. Okay, so now let's just play both of them. Hello, this is an audio test for the Boya BYM1 without any adaption with voice meter. This is a Boya BYM1 audio test with the voice meter adapter to make this voice sound more clear and professional. All right, so that's all to it. That's all to the setup on how to make your Boya BYM1 sound more professional and clear. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more future videos that will help you thrive in the new economy as a content creator and entrepreneur. This is Poyek, and I'll see you next time. Thank <music> you.